All right, fam. So we are back at it again with another crazy, 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 double, triple, quadruple crazy video. Now, as y'all see by the title, this is not clickbait. Okay, I I promise you, this is not clickbait. So apparently, if y'all, if okay, let me let me just give a little backstory. If y'all don't know who TD Jakes is, he is a well-known pastor, well-known pastor, like probably one of the biggest pastors bishops whatever he he's one of the biggest of the biggest okay like he doesn't you know a lot of people don't watch him and and gave their life to christ and he's one of the most in my opinion one of the most motivational pastors there are you know what i'm saying there is he's one he he's that guy okay he's that guy but <sighs> this is crazy this is crazy this man got exposed okay allegedly allegedly Things has came out that he was a power bottom at Diddy's parties. Okay, now if you don't know what a power bottom is, I just recommend you don't look it up. <laughs> and, and, and if you do look it up, just don't go to images. You're going to be scarred for life. Okay, you're going to be scarred for life. But long story short, a power bottom is like a it's a LGBT term for you know gay people you feel me and um yeah it is i mean just put two to two together okay that's all i gotta say is put two to two together and you'll figure out what a freaking power bottom is but we're gonna go ahead and jump right into this video man uh i just want to hear all these allegations these alleged allegations that's going around uh because this is crazy okay this is crazy tdj is good friends with diddy it's crazy if this is true if this is true oh my gosh if this is true bro this is I, I, I don't have no words. I don't have no words. But anyways, let's go ahead and get right into the video. Anything, this is allegedly. Ain't nobody gonna catch me slipping, okay? Okay. So allegedly, Cassie has turned over evidence to the feds. Yes, to the feds. She has turned over videotapes, a USB drive, and Kim Porter's burner phone. Now, there is also an alleged email out saying a plethora of other things that include T.D. Jakes with Diddy. I'm going to let y'all listen to it. I'm not going to say nothing else. It's here. Yo, bro, Cassie has turned over substantial amounts of evidence to the feds. I'm told that after Cassie had a long conversation with Blank, I have to protect this person. They're going through a lot right now. And her lawyers, she finally was convinced to give up the videotapes and audio recordings that contain footage of S parties and other private gatherings that feature some pretty powerful and prominent people. And get this, she even gave up a burner phone and USBs that belong to Kim Porter with incriminating evidence against Diddy. I'm told that there are a slew of artists, politicians, and entertainers that are about to be exposed and arrested for H10. I'm paraphrasing there, okay? Mm -hmm. H10. I'm told that Cassie's husband played a significant role in getting Cassie to turn over the evidence. It's to my understanding that Cassie felt that by exposing the truth, it would also make her look like a filthy more. And I'm paraphrasing there because some of the videos she turned in, it shows her getting number one on number one. OK, guys, I'm paraphrasing again and committing more disgusting acts that she was forced to do. I'm also told that. Mo Whoa, she getting number one on. Oh my God, she's getting number one on? Fam. Fam. If y'all don't know Cassie, okay, she's a singer. Wonderful singer. Wonderful singer. She's a singer. And recently she came out and exposed Diddy. Look, Diddy, bro, Diddy has so much power. Okay, we know that the, the highest power is God. We know that God has all authority. He has all the real power. But Diddy has a lot of earthly power because of the amount of money he has, the amount of influence he has, and the, the amount of money he pays other people to shut up. The, the amount of money that he pays other people to shut up to cover his behind. Simple as that. So she exposed him because a lot of things done happened in their relationship when they was dating a lot of weird things, weird things, okay? And I don't want to get too into the whole lawsuit and everything that she did or she, you know, filed against him. What what I did hear is though that she that the the amount of money that he uh that she filed against him he literally paid up front. That's what I allegedly heard. I don't know how true that is. I didn't do no deep research into no Diddy because I don't care for Diddy. It's just crazy to me because I am a Christian and the fact that a pastor who we all if you are a Christian or even if you're not you done heard T D Jakes. So the fact that 
T.D. Jakes is involved in this whole Diddy scandal and all these different things. He's getting pound town in the booty. Bro, that is weird, okay? It's weird, but for you to be a pastor preaching the word of God, this is what makes people not want to come to Christ because they see people like T.D. Jakes. Now, let me, exp now, hold on. Let me just say something. I'm not saying that this is true. Earlier today, I, I I was looking into it and I was thinking in my head like, dang, this is true. This is true. But Father, forgive me. I'm not doing this to, to show y'all how how good of a Christ servant I am. No, I'm not doing this and saying I'm sorry, Father, for this reason. I'm literally saying I repent because I don't know how true this is. And I can't judge somebody because this is allegedly. OK, this could all be false because somebody hate T.D. Jakes. Who knows? But I'm bringing y'all the story because I feel like it's a crazy, crazy story to talk about. And it, it gets weirder than this, okay? It gets way weirder. We, weird, weirder than this. I think that, that's how I'm trying to say it. Okay. Anyways. That multiple male escorts corroborated the fact that T.D. Jakes have slept with multiple men at Diddy's parties and abroad. And they referred to him as being a power bottom. Wow. It's also been said that a young male has acquired a lawyer to represent him as he is set to sue Jakes for an incident that took place when he was just years old. It's been said that the young man was forced to perform sloppy toppy. And I'm paraphrasing here, guys. You can actually put two and two together to understand what I'm trying to say. Oh. It's been said that the man's family were members of the Potter's House, but left the church in 2015. According to multiple church insiders, the parents were paid off to keep quiet. The guy's a grown man mm. now and is seeking his own justice. It's been said that the young man doesn't even deal with his parents even to this day because they took hush money. According to Pastor Blank, and I have to protect this pastor, Bishop Jakes is about to get railroaded and all of his dirt will be exposed. That's why the bishop has quietly lawyered up. He sees his fall from grace coming. Mm, this don't look good for nobody. Okay, I'm done pausing. I can't because I got another video I want to show y'all after this. I can't keep pausing. I'll give my thoughts at the end. And when I say nobody, I mean nobody. Hollywood is being turned upside down. Jeffrey Epstein's list is going to come out. If this is actually true, this list is going to come out. And we already know T.D. Jakes is caught up with the other shit, allegedly being the person that is um, messing with Christian Keys. Everybody's saying it's either allegedly T.D. Jakes or allegedly Tyler Perry is either one of them, but oh my God, if this is true, buckle up because next year, 2024, y'all better get y'all bingo cards out because it's going to get real. Anything, okay. this is allegedly. All right, so that's the first video. Okay, that is the first video, but there's another video that I want to show you guys. This video right here came out. I, I don't remember when this video came, but I remember seeing this video. Okay, I remember seeing this video and bro, this story is getting so big because a lot of people that exposed T.D. Jakes in the past, they're reposting these videos saying that, oh, man, this person was right. Woo -woo -woo. Like right now, y'all see that on this video, I say y'all owe my girl an apology because she's been said all of this. And we looked at her like, oh, man, you're just tripping you this and you that. So, like I said, we don't know how true this stuff is. But if this junk is true and T.D. Jakes is paying hush money, T.D. Jakes is asking kids to give them sloppy toppy that is bro that is just weird that is the utmost weirdest thing i have ever heard a pastor do okay i i done heard pastors do some weird stuff but that probably has to be the top tier weirdest thing i ever heard a pastor do okay or a pastor say to a child like that is weird bro but we're gonna watch this video right here uh, and then I'm going to just give all my thoughts on this whole situation. I want y'all to do the same thing in the comment section below. Let me know how y'all feel about T.D. Jakes. Do y'all feel like this is true because of the track record he may have? Do y'all feel like this is false? Or y'all just going to wait to see what, what unfolds because it's all alleged at the end of the day. So let's see. Do you remember when Bernie Mac played the minister on Friday? Yes. That's how I feel about T.D. Jakes. <laughs> Like, that's how I see. Oh, Miss Parker, come to pray. I, I but for him to be at a Diddy party? I don't know. Like, I, I feel the same way about that as I feel about when Tyler Perry came to his church and laid hands on him and he caught the Holy Spirit from Tyler Perry. Tyler Perry is the bishop of what? <laughs> like, I've never, like, and I cut a check for a hundred. I'm gonna lay my hands on your bishop. And he said that the uh, uh. And then the bitch said, it's on the fucking internet. He's ah, uh, he's doing all of this, right? 
And then there's a woman on, on, the, on the dais screaming, push the baby out. Birth that baby. Push the... I'm like, are we at church? Or is this about to turn into like a whole nother scene, like a lost scene from Eyes Wide Shut? Like, <laughs> this shit is looking a little weird. I mean, if Push this the event was at a Diddy party, there could only be two reasons. Money or sex. Yeah. That's all that happens at Diddy parties. Yeah. Money and well, sex. Yeah. I, I, just, I hope it was for money. Charitable contribution. I hope it was for money because arguing about who's going to put the strap on on is... That can be a very uncomfortable situation. You know, we're going to pray on it. Praise the Lord. Do you now, remember when... Okay, now, that video right there, I actually, I love that video. I, I love that video. Now, there's one thing I did, I did, I disagree with. Okay, now we know the track record of Tyler Perry. And I was just telling my wife this. I was like, man, you know, Tyler Perry, he done had some things. She said that apparently he stopped the Medea movies and trusting like a woman and things like that. I don't know Tyler Perry morals and whatever he's trying to got going on. You, you, I learned my lesson with trying to doubt who who receives the Holy Spirit and who's giving the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. I done seen pastors do some crazy stuff when laying their hands, but... I don't know because you could still you could tell, but Tyler Perry, all I seen the video, all he did was lay his hands on him, uh, like literally like a regular pastor, like just you know lay his hands on him, and that's really all I seen. A after that, I don't know about all the birth thing. I, I never, I didn't see that part. But if it is in there, it is what it is. But uh, yeah, so this whole entire TD Jake situation is, like I said, this is all alleged. So we don't know if this is true or not. It it could be a random person who just went viral talking about TD Jakes because they don't like TD Jakes. We just don't know. Okay, we truly don't know the the outcome of this whole entire situation. You know what I'm saying? But she is right. By TD Jakes being a pastor, the Bible tells us that pastors, teachers, uh, all these people are being held to a higher standard, especially if you're preaching the word of God and you're leading people like you know what I'm saying? When you lead people, when you lead somebody astray, best believe, best believe that blood is on your hands. You know what I'm saying? So when you're preaching the gospel and you're leading somebody uh, totally away from the uh, from the word of God, that blood is on your hands now. So I definitely understand everything that she's saying. You know what I'm saying? Everything that she's saying, I understand because T.D. Jakes being a pastor, he shouldn't be going to these parties. You know what I'm saying? It's not saying that he can't go to a party, but he's going to literally freak parties with Diddy. That's the name of the parties. Freak parties. It's literally called freak party, y'all. And it's in the name. So, like she said, it's only for money or sex. Only two things you could really be going there for. Or maybe drugs. Who knows? But it's only between those three things, for real, for real. Money, sex, and drugs. It's a freak party. What happens at freak parties? You think they, and praise the Lord. Or, my God is awesome. He can They're not singing that at no freak party. They singing... Touch your toes, bend it over, bend it up, bang it up. Like they singing some crazy out like some crazy outrageous stuff. And then not only that, they doing things that a pastor should even be involved in. If he going to go to a freak party, it should be him bringing the entire church, the entire industry to try to everything with him to preach the word of God and to get these people saved. That is the only reason why a pastor should be going to a freak party. Only reason. Only reason, sorry, I got a little passionate there. I felt like I was in the pulpit. Uh, but yeah, y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section below. Uh, <laughs> I seen this one video and somebody said, <laughs> somebody said TD stands for take, <laughs> take that. <laughs> oh, sorry. If y'all uh, power bottom TD, take that. I, I, I don't know, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this video in the comment section below. Uh, and do y'all think that this is, are y'all going to believe it? Are y'all going to run with it? Or y'all just go wait and to see what unfolds in the year to come? Simple as that. Y'all let me know in the comment section below. I love each and one of y'all, man. We back on the daily grind. I appreciate all y'all patience and sticking with me. All the real supporters, all the fake ones left. So I appreciate it. We getting all the real ones back. I love y'all, man. God bless. Stay blessed. Peace.